As food reaches the stomach, an expandable muscular sac capable of holding from two to four liters of food and liquids, a number of things happen. Food is mechanically broken apart by the contracting, churning movements of the stomach's muscular walls. The chemical breakdown of food is initiated by the hormone gastrin, which stimulates the secretion of hydrochloric acid and pepsinogen from glands lining the walls of the stomach. Pepsinogen is an inactive form of the protein digesting enzyme pepsin. Pepsin must be secreted in the inactive pepsinogen form in order to prevent it from digesting the cells that produce it. It is the highly acidic conditions in the stomach created by the release of hydrochloric acid that converts pepsinogen into pepsin. Once pepsinogen is converted into pepsin, it breaks proteins down into shorter amino acid chains called peptides. So the stomach itself isn't digested by hydrochloric acid and pepsin. Cells lining the stomach produce a very thick mucus that coats the stomach. However, the protection is not perfect and cells lining the stomach must nonetheless be replaced every few days due to damage. The result of the mechanical and chemical processes in the stomach is a thick acidic liquid called chyme, consisting of partially digested food and digestive secretions. Peristaltic waves occurring at about 20 second intervals propel the chyme toward the small intestine. A circular ring of muscle called the pyloric sphincter at the base of the stomach allows only about a teaspoon of chyme to be released into the small intestine with each wave. Depending on the size of the meal, it takes two to six hours to empty the stomach into the small intestine.